What up, though? It's Propaganda West West. I hope y'all checking out that Homegrown Radio. This is the realest thing on the internet. So much fun. Homegrown Radio. Love y'all. <laughs> What up, what up, what up, what up? I know, you've been here longer than 10 minutes. Yeah, you've been here. Kind of, you, you low-key been here. You was on time. You was. You I know, was early. You know what? You've been here longer than 10 minutes. You kind of overstand your welcome a little bit. Oh, word. So, Dang, we haven't started yet. Now, you know what I'm saying? This house going it's, right it's, now. This house going down. Sometimes already. people show up late, but you you show up too early, you overstand your welcome. Oh, word. That's how it is. It's like, what, seven, eight Can't minutes win. Here. You can't win. Yeah, I was I like, know. look, I did... I used to live in Inglewood. It's possible I could drive by this place four or five times and I know where the door is. Right. <laughs> so I'm like, let me, uh, you go my grandma me. used to live around the corner. So I'm like, wait, there's a radio station? They're yeah, like, wait, hold on. I never knew about that shit. Yeah, so let me, let me, let me, let me get myself some extra time. Well, welcome home, man. For the folks that aren't familiar with you, your movement, what you got going on right yes, now, sir. I want to let them know, you know, what, what's happening. Yeah. Uh, so I'm from born in South Central. Uh, I spent most of my like formative years in the 626 and, uh, you know, San Gabriel Valley. Um, I do hip hop and poetry. I'm part of a small label up in Portland called uh, Humble Beast. No uh, done poetry for a while. Uh, my my wife and I run a podcast called The Red Couch. She is a PhD in educational policy. I Damn. actually helped start. Yeah, she's brilliant. Wait, are you intimidated by that? I was at first. When did? How long yeah, ago did you meet your wife? Uh, I met her about ten years ago. I so hit you on met her. your wife ten years. Was she? Did she? Was she already on? She like, was. In, she was in a master's program, and I was like, ooh, "Yeah." And you I, was just a bum. I was rapping, <laughs> but actually, <laughs> actually, actually, I was rapping on the side. I actually, helped start a, a charter high school in Pomona. Oh, so, so I had were, my chops. You were already in there. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Like it was School of Arts and Enterprise. Like I helped start that mug. So right. it was like I am, but I didn't have a master's. Yeah. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Wait, I mean, you. And she went to UCLA, and oh, I was yeah, like, was I some... was, I went to a Cal State. So I was like, uh, Cal let's State, run with the term. Wait, 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 what Cal State? Fullerton. Fullerton. Okay, I went to yeah. Fullerton. let's, let's run with the term subpar Negro. <laughs> subpar <laughs> Negro. <laughs> is that, is, so where, where, where did you meet, meet wife yet? Actually, I met her at Park Jam in uh, Long Beach. Wow. At a concert? No, it's like a. They do every Sunday. They do like a. It's like a park thing. It's just like open tables and oh, it's like a crazy. family kick it. Thing. Oh, that's yeah. dope. So I met her there, and then I saw her again. It's at, way better than the club. No, I saw her again at the right. Poetry Lounge in. Uh, you was uh, hooked. No, she was hooked then. Really? Oh, so she came on to you? She came. No, I was hooked at Park Jam. Okay. And then, but I was like, "You're hella out of my league." And then right, 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 right. she saw me perform at Did the poetry lounge. That, oh, no, nah, I didn't say a word to her. Like, no, you, I was dating somebody at the time, too. Damn. Oh, you a two-timer. No, <laughs> that's why I stayed out my way. That's why I stayed out her way. I yeah. was like... <laughs> I was like, you, nah. I can't even look you in the eye right now. Like, yeah. It's going to be a problem. So, yeah. did she, wait, did, did your wife know you was seeing somebody at the time? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this real quick. Or, we, we'll you ain't got to do it real no, quick. No. Let's talk. Yeah, let's yeah. This is just conversation. Yeah. Just hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically. How many days before Park Jam where you saw your wife, did you smash the chick you was already seeing? Damn. Mm. Hypothetically. How many days before? Before Park Jam. Did I saw her? Dang. Yep. Was, it, I mean, it was like ten years ago, so yeah, it's hard to call. whatever, whatever you can but, recollect, uh, right? Whatever we had, yeah, I, yeah, we had, we had recently smashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you had you had frequent you had frequent the other chick's box, and then you Before. met your wife, and at then Park I met her, and it was just like, oh, Damn. so so. Let me ask you this, Shit. but Park, I didn't hit on to her till three years later. Let me ask you this though. So after Park Jam, how how long did you wait until you cut off the other chick? We dated another year. Hmm. So you and, girl, you and the girl that you were with previously. <laughs> yeah, we did another year. And it fizzled like out. It. Yeah, and then I hit on my wife on a New Year's. It's funny. I actually hit on her after a fail. I went on a tour. I got dumped on that tour. By her? Girl. No, by by because me and her, we were done. Okay. Two years later, you know what I'm saying? I go on tour with mm-hmm. one of my homeboys uh, who, if I said you would know, so probably won't say. Okay. Now but say it. <laughs> I, I, I'll get to that. Okay. It's because now, okay, so they, so I got dumped. They're fucking now, that's what it yes. is. Yes. So I got dumped. <laughs> oh, the homie's fucking her now? No, wait, wait, wait. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So I got dumped. Oh! I got dumped for the dude that I'm touring with. Oh, get the fuck right? out of here. Wait, now, wait, 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 wait. Yes. Wait, wait, time out. Hold on. Is it Ray J? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Uh, no, it's not. But they're married with, with three kids now. So it's like uh, everybody's happy kids? now. Stevie J? No. Who the fuck got everybody's three kids? Happy now. <laughs> they're, they're, these are like L.A. like oh. indie underground rappers. Like, Who the fuck got the thirds? 
How many? Nah, I, 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 I'm thinking of one, but I don't think he got. They, three they kids. left L.A. now. They left L.A. now. So I'm they left L.A. They left L.A. They, left LA. they, they, they don't live in L.A. no more. But Ooh. these were only person I can think of that left L.A. But I think he's back now. Nah, it couldn't be. It couldn't Man, let's say the fucking name. The the, the uh, pay dues. You talking about Merce? Yeah. No. No. Okay. No. I was about to say Merce. Yeah, no, that's my dog. Yeah, yeah. Merce, Merce don't seem like the type of. Wouldn't do that. Like, but he ain't got. He ain't got three kids either. I think he's got Who two. Who the fuck? He's I'm got gonna one. Hey, we gonna y'all do the, Y'all talk. <laughs> <laughs> y'all <gonna> figure <laughs> it out. Rappers from LA with three kids. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> so I got. So I got dumped on that tour Fourth. for him. Mm-hmm. I come back to this New Year's Eve party. And I'm just getting roasted by all the homies. Oh, because they all knew. Because they all knew. Damn. They knew my ex girl from two years ago uh-huh. that they had all been kind of keeping their mouth shut about yeah. how nobody really liked her. Wow. And then the and then I just got dumped. So it was just like your life is terrible. Like you taking L's. Taking L's. Before but there were L's. all I know is my wife to be at the time right. is just there looking amazing. So I'm like, why don't you, why don't you pour me another Hennessy? See so what's I just going like on. right, right. You know, I just. Dude took another shot and then was like, "I'm a, I'm a give, give put my bid in." You know yeah, what I'm saying? I got you, nothing to lose now. But, but you're saying that she was on to you once you guys kind of got involved. Once we, so I found out that night she was on. She was like the whole time. She wow. was like, "Yo, I'm waiting for him to get single. Get out of here." I'm like, "Say what?" This word. whole time you thinking you out of her, you out of the hell league, out of my league. Do, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. That's what, now you got this album crooked. It's available right now. Yes, it is. Might as well plug your shit before. You I know mean, what I'm since we here, why not? That's what you're here, here for. Here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sixth album is the sixth studio album. Six, six album. Yeah. Okay. So, six so w- w- how do you feel like it? Your your what life year was is, this? What, the tour. Oh, see, I told you. What I year tried was to the get you to. Tour? I tried I to get you to go. I tried to get you to go with it. This was two thousand. The Bruh. New Year's Eve of. 2008. <laughs> He's looking, he's looking under, yeah, underground tours. 2008. 2008 uh, tours. <laughs> you better hurry right I'm, now, I'm bro. I'm like debating on saying it because now it's because now it's a funny story. You gotta say it. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it was, I can't. I can't put uh, him on blast without like because he's he, still a homie. He know. It's like he don't. It's not like he yeah, don't know. Again, we're married with children now, so I guess it's all good. It's it's, it's Man, done. You would save me a whole hell of a lot of fucking research. Right? <laughs> I'm over here like a fucking intern. So, are you, uh, so y'all, y'all, familiar, figure... y'all familiar with L.A. Symphony? No. No. Pigeon John? No. no. Okay, well then. Cool. There you go. See, See we, we don't know that nigga anyway. It wasn't Pigeon John, though, but it was a oh. member of oh, L.A. Symphony. okay. So I'm there you go. If you knew his you name, still, you still, you still got to do your ghouls then. He going to name the whole L.A. Symphony then. Right. All right. So Crooked is available right now. Crooked Folks can go right support now. that. I actually got a chance to hear that album. Amazing work, man. Thank I you, think sir. You, you've, uh, in my opinion, felt like you opened up. And, and not to say that you haven't done it before or anything uh-huh. like that, but it seems like you, you, you're tackling on topics and things of that nature where, yeah. you, you know, just opening up more. And I don't know if that's from the poetry side or, you know, what, what, how do you feel or what's changed? Yeah. Let's go around uh, versus the other albums. Yeah. So my uh, my father was... When they got to L.A., he was a part of, like, the Watch chapter of, like, wow. the Black Panthers. Wow. So, like, I come from sort of an activist family. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so when I fell in love with hip-hop, I fell in love with that aspect of yeah. it. Right? But I'm in L.A., just a B-boy, you know what I'm saying, battle rapping. And I guess it took me a while to really find who I am as an artist. Mm-hmm. And I feel like with this record, like, I, I feel like I found it. You know what I'm saying? Like, just the the the, the breath, like, the the wide swath of, like, who propaganda is. Why, why do you think, and just generally speaking, why do you think it takes, not a long time, but, like, why do you think it takes certain times for certain people, like, to really open Man, up and I really discover themselves? I think it's season. Mm-hmm. I think it's maturity, what's happening at home. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think a lot of things. And just, like, what the climate of the culture. I feel like, for me, that's what pull, pulled it out of me. Oh, gotcha. Was, like, I there was always hints of, mm-hmm. of Crooked in other records. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like just the climate of it, like it was almost like a higher call, if you will. Mm-hmm. Like this is, this is, I, I don't, I, I don't know how to talk about anything else right now. Got you. You feel me? Um, it just felt so necessary. Mm-hmm. And then I think like there's even just your experience with the, with the pen. Like some people are just aliens, mm-hmm. like freaking natures and their first rap is mm-hmm. like. Oh my gosh! Like I can't believe you rapped that well your first time. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I was like, it I mean, it's not like I wasn't. Skill. Yeah, I mean, I was decent. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't really know how to say what I meant. Right. You know, until you do a few. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So I feel like this one was like, I don't have to lose. I've already proven I got bars. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's not like I've proven that. Yeah. So 
let me just make the album I know to make. Now, mm-hmm. now for you, when it, when it comes to the poetry thing, like, was that something that ushered you into hip hop or was hip hop the around. first thing? Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah, dude. I was just underground battle rapper. Really? Like for for what age? Like, starting up, like, first time seeing it, like, what was the your introduction? Well, I mean, hip hop was like, uh, the little boy across the street from me taught me all the words to Paul Revere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got you, yeah. My father used to drive down to Venice Beach to like, I thought it was like our our like father son time. Mm-hmm. He would just go to Venice Beach to like buy incense. He's he's buying weed. Right, right. Now, I know now. You know <laughs> right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Father slang. But anyway, uh, so but we would go and you know this dude spinning on their heads like we was on 67th of San Pedro. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a six block yeah. crips up there, and I'm yeah. like, you know, you go down here and it's like. That dude spinning on his head. <laughs> like, like, y'all don't see this that's shit? That's <laughs> so much cooler. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. So, uh, so for me, it was like, it was that young. And then just kind of like being skinny, like I was in a Latino neighborhood, usually through high school. So I just got quicker with my words, yeah. you know, and then that's kind of, mm-hmm. and then sneaking into Project Blow at wow. 14, you know what I mean? Wow. I saw, saw when AC alone did the All Balls Don't Bounce, like wow. he's when he performed it live. Like yeah. I was, I shouldn't have been there, but I was there. The experience. You know what I'm saying? It just was like, what is yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. At, at a time, man, where, where you know, hip hop is bubbling, especially in, in the LA scene too, yeah. man. It's just amazing that you can kind of see that because a lot of people only hear about that. Yeah. They don't really actually experience that. Yeah. And for that to be your introduction to yeah. hip hop is, is an amazing experience. That was crazy, yeah. Poetry was something different. Poetry, I was like chasing a girl. You found him? No, nah, I'm, I'm not <laughs> fucking with this <laughs> shit. <laughs> this shit is crazy. No, yeah. You say you was chasing a girl? I was chasing a girl for poetry. Trying to do some shit like, all right, you know. Yeah, she was the one, she was an upperclassman. It was in college. She was mm-hmm. an upperclassman. She actually, uh, she's, she teaches at SF State now. Get out of here. But yeah, she was like, she just told me one day as a freshman, like, oh, you you know, you could really rap. I bet you'd probably be good at poetry. You like what she I was like, damn, girl, you, you feel me, right? What this pen is about then. Yeah, I showed it. I showed it, went in there, and then, like, that was it. Did you impress her? I hope so. I don't know. You didn't ask. Okay, you didn't I, I was so intimidated by her. She was See? this little freedom fighter, like. Just she what? took a year in the Philippines because she wanted to be a part of the revolution. Like, Get just the fuck out of here. Yeah, she was a G. You know what I'm Are saying? Are serious? Yeah, so, like, I mean, she's back now, but anyway. No, nah, I'm just saying that's, that's, that's yeah. But she was a G, so I was like, I don't know if I impressed her, you know. Yeah. Not, nah, but kind of going back to our, our our original conversation in yeah. terms of like how vulnerable you have to get in order to you know For to sure. open up. Like, I don't understand like that this this whole dynamic with hip hop is a bravado, obviously <laughs> sport, but people seem like they. They when they tend to open up, they see their their, their most success, or you know, yeah, so that's when absolutely people actually do that. Why do you think it's kind of hard for people to actually do that, or artists to actually do that when they yeah. know that you, you're successful at, you know, Man, you're I feel like doing it. I feel like a lot of it has to do, like I said, I think a lot of it has to do with off the mic. Mm-hmm. Like the more comfortable you are with you, like I feel like I'm fully, like I'm fully reconciled with who I am, right. like warts and all. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have nothing to prove. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So so once. I'm okay with me. I can lay this out, you know what I'm saying, and just feel like I'm I'm not I don't fear rejection from yeah, this. Yeah. You feel me like I I don't I can I know who I am and I know my worth. Yeah, yeah. so I'm going to ask you this because I think that you have some intellectual sustenance to offer. Yeah. Um how do you feel about uncomfortable conversation? In what in just in, in general? any facet like do like could you talk to your wife like you've been married how long? 7 years. Could you talk to your wife about a chick with a fat ass? I could. You would should not. I? No, no. Better would question. You? Not should you? Would yeah. you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You mentioned kind of mentioned it on one of the records too. I you did. Said, yeah. You know. No. Well, yeah. I'm definitely honest about like would struggles you, like that. Are you okay with having a conversation with your with your let's say your producer about his weak weak ass beats? Oh yeah, I'll definitely say that. So. It's, but the, the interpersonal relationship is not the dynamic. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah, for so me, it's more who are like closer to you. It's a little bit more difficult. Yeah, and it's and it's like there's there's has to be a, a specificity. There are certain things that I know are triggers for my wife. Got you. So I'm like, out of my love for her, I'm not gonna have this because it's like it's not that I'm uncomfortable. I know that that's Jeez. gonna put you in a bad position. See, that's but that's because I know her specifically. But then there are other things that I'm like. For the sake of our relationship, you gotta I have to say this. Yeah. Okay. You feel me? And because it's like we we made this, we made a commitment early on to like never purposefully push each other's buttons. Mm. Like you, where, where it's like I'm only doing this because I know it bothers right. you. Right, you feel right, me? Right, right, right. Like so, we made a commitment to never do that. But like, okay, so what I'm saying, what if you unintentionally? Oh, that's different. If I'm not. So if you okay, let me ask you this. 
This is what I'm. This is where I'm going with it. Okay. If you do something without mal- without malicious intent, it has no malice. Yeah. But you inadvertently push her button. Yeah. Do you? How do you handle that situation? Well, one, she needs to tell me. You right. I mean, you're in the know now. So yeah. She, so if I'm in the know, then no, like, no, she's brought it to your attention. Yeah. Then I'm gonna. I I should humble myself. We didn't just be like, okay, now I know that's off limits. But uh, but I need you to understand. As long as she can acknowledge that. She knows this wasn't malicious. You know what I'm saying? Precisely. But you have to like, but you, I need you to acknowledge that. You right. know what I'm saying? You acknowledge that I didn't try it. And then. Right. Because sometimes once she you can't let it, go. She's like, yeah, I acknowledge that. Right. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it didn't hurt. Yeah. But I'm going to acknowledge that you weren't trying to hurt me. Then I'm yeah. like, okay, now we can move on. So, and then um, also another question, because I noticed, I read, a, I read a, a, a little bit of stuff on you. Are you, what, where, where's your family from? Where's your lineage? Uh, my, I believe, I mean, DC and Texas, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But I think ultimately like Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Yeah. Okay. So, and, and then your, your wise people. Acapulco, Mexican. Yeah. They're straight up Mexican. First generation. Wow. So that's what's interesting about this. Yeah. Because this new, this new, I just want to get your take on it real yeah, quick. Yeah, talk to me. The, the shit with the. the DACA with, joint. Right. Does yeah, that man. affect your family? In Directly. Part- wow. It does, right? Directly. Okay. Yeah. So how like it, do, it affects it affects. My how do you wife. think? What do you think about it is what I'm asking? Like I actually we were talking about this on the way here because like we are part of our 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 uh, our uh, podcast. We have a thing called Hood Politics. Yeah. Because I truly believe that like you can understand geopolitics if you just understand gang life. True. Because it's, it's just hood. Same you know what I'm saying? Same it's, just, it's the America's same. A gang. It's the same. Yeah, they you feel colors, me? They right. Got flags, so so in my mind, I feel like okay. So Trump. Trump's in a corner right now because the niggas that put him on are like, Where you at? we need our run that back. We need to run it. Run oh, it. they fronted right. him to work. They fronted him to work. So they like <laughs> oh, run they it. Run. You understand what I'm saying? So they like run it. But his business brain is going, actually, this is dumb. dumb fuck, I should right. not end this program right. because he because the numbers don't lie. Right. DACA is a great program. It works. Mm-hmm. These people don't they don't have criminal records. They they had no say in where they were born and that their families were brought. They were minors. They were brought here without their without any consent. They, without any consent, they they they've given all their information. They complied. They've been through background checks. They have no criminal records. Right. They've been accepted to college. Most of, they said the seventy three percent of these food seventy three percent of them own homes. Wow. Right. So I'm like, wow. The program works. Yeah. yeah. So for him to be like, we need to end this. He knows right. this is Bullshit. dumb. Hey, like Trump, as a businessman, Trump you're is like, sitting there in the oval. I was like, I'm fucking up. Uh, yes. <laughs> fucking up. He has to <laughs> because he's up. like, I done sold my soul. Yeah. Because because clearly, if you know this don't make business sense, what's the other sense it makes? Right. Because when you hear DACA, you think Latino. Automatic. Immigrants come from everywhere. 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 Right. Yeah. If these everywhere. were if these were like Scandinavian models, yeah. like nobody would be stopping this right. mug you feel Very me true you understand what i'm saying yeah so it's like so he's like crap i gotta answer to these fools mm-hmm. they put me on yeah so they that's why he's so, like uh so. congress, <laughs> congress you do it you do it so the racist motherfuckers the bigots yes the, the, the people filled with hate are the big homies and they put their little homie on and now, say, okay, you want to be president? Now, now that he up, he got to run the work. Run yes, the work you, you want to be president, bro? We can make this happen. Yeah. We can make this happen. This is what you got to do. You can do. run this whole block. Don't yeah. worry about it. Yeah. Matter of fact, we'll front you to work for it. Don't even worry. But we'll, t- we'll talk about it later. Wow. We'll, don't even worry about it right now. We'll yeah. talk about it he later. He got to pay all that shit back. I got to pay all it back, homie. So it, you got to pay it all it back. So he's like, wow. so he's like, yo, I got to drop the debt ceiling. Yeah. Word, you got to, you got to, you want to, you want us to talk about taxes. Houston's underwater right now. You want me to talk about taxes right now? Right. Touche. Right. You feel me? Get... Run like... that work, brother. So let me you ask you. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let me ask you this. Uh, because it does affect your family directly. Directly. First generation, right? Because I know, like, I, I grew up with Mexicans my whole life. Yeah, like, same I was, here. You know, you're from L.A. You right, right. Mexican, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, my thing is. Everybody I grew up with wasn't necessarily on the up and up when it comes no, to of course not. paperwork and whatnot. Because it was it was more of course not. It was looser back in the day. Yeah. So I'm looking around at people I've known my whole life and they kids. Yeah. Like I'm looking at the little homies, like yeah. like you know what I mean? Like totally. Tomas is nineteen or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking at people <laughs> like that where it's like, fuck, like not not the Tomases yeah, here. Specifically, you know, yeah. But I'm just saying in general, like, like I'm looking at the nieces and nephews and shit, yeah. and I'm like Damn, you may not ever see your dad again. That's fucking that's crazy. That's like that's the reality. It's crazy that and then and, and I read I read some on the way in here. That's why I was asking because yeah. it was fresh in my mind. I read some on the way in here. Shouldn't be reading articles on the freeway. 
Um, <laughs> no, you shouldn't. <laughs> should not read articles, not not read articles on the freeway. But I was reading an article where they were saying that they're going to postpone e- uh, immigrant roundups yeah. I- in light of the hurricane. You're going to postpone it. They're going to postpone immigrant roundups. That was the verbiage. That was used on fucking like NBC or some shit like that, fam. Did like, you see can that? We, can we just nah, like? Hell no. Can we just? Can we, <laughs> I was like, wow. what? Like, like so like roundups? Right now, Do you it, know what the word roundup? You know what that? It sounds like cattle. Yeah, like we're talking right. about. You exactly. talking about animals, fam? I was like, bro. Yeah, but anyway, sad. all right. Yeah, no, nah, it's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, yeah, I think the big homies are like, you need to run that work. Yeah. So he Trump right now is in a corner. Trump, he's stuck. So and, the, I, and this is me giving him the benefit of the doubt. Right, right, this is right. Me giving him, yeah, man, because this, this, it don't make financial sense to end at out. all. We, we were talking about the la- on the last episode, like how long do you think he's gonna last in office? Do you think that at at this point, Oof. with with the people, you know, with the big homies that 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 are letting him do what he's doing right now, and he's continuing to fuck shit up, are they gonna say, yeah, keep it going, Bruh. keep him in office, or do you think he's gonna be out? Man, white supremacy is a hell of a drug, fam. It is. So like. I I'm, I am bracing for the reality of eight years. Really, I'm really? bracing. I'm bracing like for re-elected. it. Like reelected, I'm bracing for it. Wow. I don't. Be, let me tell you why. Okay. Because when Please he first, me. because when he first announced he was going to be president, I giggled. I yeah, everybody. Like, laughed this at is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Preliminary. And then and then he started running the table, and I was <laughs> like, like, oh, oh wait. Shit. Bro, so, and then laughing. and then and then you was laughing out. You was, I, we was all laughing in I November. I was laughing up Hell until yeah. I was like, "Wait, is this shit real?" Like, that's, like, I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. Close. So I'm like, "Let me just brace myself." Yeah, for this because bullshit. because I'm st- from January of 2015. I thought this was impossible. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying. Word. So I'm like, this stranger thing, fam. Uh, okay, let's let let this sink in. Let, I just just think about this for a second. An open white supremacist who runs a blog called Breitbart was his head of was the head of his advisor. Right. Like, let that sink in. Wow. Th- this this is where we are right, right now. Right, right, damn. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, to Stranger Things, I I can't. This I can't. I don't. I and, and just to I, I think because I, I I don't know how to I I don't even know how to even think about this shit. But the only reason why I agree with you. Well, not the only reason. Well, one of the reasons why I agree with you is because we just had Obama in office for eight years. Eight years. They so they want to they want a point to prove at this point. Yeah, I feel like I feel like yeah, we just we took a, such a blow to just white identity. Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, and inadvertently, it wasn't on purpose. Right, right. It was just like if you're if you're gonna, I'm gonna get real. I'm gonna get real. Book learning yeah. sociologists. Oh, yeah, 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 y'all yeah, good? Yeah, okay, yeah. good. So. Uh, I mean, our listeners are a little... They, they'll catch up. They, okay. <laughs> they can rewind. And blown right now, yeah. which is... Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> rewind this. Then this is good. a good hey, conversation we, hey, for exactly. you. Blown a little We're bit. We're a well-versed ambrosia of yeah. listenership. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but they will catch they'll up. They'll catch up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Still. Yes. I rock. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh we didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Right? Yeah. 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 Do it, man. But, um... So... So, identity formation is this idea of, like, the myths and the stories that people tell themselves that shape their identity. And when I say myths, I mean in, in like, a sociological term, where it's not where it's, like, it's true or false. This is just what we tell ourselves, right? right? Uh, you know, the, the, the American sort of meritocracy myth, that if you work hard, then you'll succeed. Yeah. So it's just this, which we all know it's not. The guy couldn't, you know, the... You know, Paco cutting grass outside. You telling me he's not working hard. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, we know it's a myth, right? But anyway, so all those things that we do to shape our identity, right? You, you, you. If you have this concept of, like, America is a country of bootstrapping. We fought against tyranny. We stood up. We said we don't believe in this sort of, you know, monarchy. We are the kings of our own destinies, right? And when somebody up there, you know, tries to stop us from getting our own success, we fight and we fight hard and we build militias because you're not going to take my freedom from me, right? right? And, then, and then at some point, America lost their way, right? And they lost their way. So we, the rebels, had to stand for the true America. And our symbol of that is this man, Robert E. Lee, who fought for the truth of what America is. This is our... This is who we are. Right, you feel right. me? Like that's a that's an identity narrative. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's an identity narrative, right? So when it gets so tied up into who you are, and then somebody says, "Wait a minute, that guy's full of shit." Right. What are you talking about? Right? right? Yeah. No, he's yeah. not. That's he's not a good man. Right. What? You, that's not a good. That's not a not a, number one. It's not a good man. Number two, that's not what happened. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Right? How? 
how crushing that is, not so much to like a, 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 an identifiable moment of racism. It's your this is my very personhood yeah, yeah. that you're asking me yeah, yeah. to undo. Mm-hmm. Right. And that's a hell of a question to ask somebody. So you, right. So so that's what I'm saying. So I'm like, so this so we fortified this identity to be like, yo, this is all we got. And now you're going to come for our statues. Right. And you had the nerve to put one of these fools in office for eight years. I had to shut up and listen to you talk about everything you are for eight years. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? No, it's time for some gifts. Yeah. yeah. It's so it's, a, it's, it's the hood. It's so, the hood. Mm-hmm. It's, it's the totally hood. the hood. So yeah. the homies from the east side rolled on the homies from the west side. Mm-hmm. And it's like, all right, like, all do right, your we'll, shit. We'll shut up. We'll shut up. Do your shit. And then now... Okay, our now turn. we got now we got all the work. Yeah, and and it was like okay, yeah. and now now the West Side is like convinced to be like even if something y'all did was good, I need to undo that because I want no Trace remnants of, yeah. of your all. success. So do you think in, in real life? Story. Do you really think that it's 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 Trump specifically, or it, or is it his uh band the Legion of of Doom? I is it a band of mis- miscreants? Man, I don't know, man. I definitely think he's their darling because yeah. I feel like even even like so if you talk to like if you talk to but if you if you listen to like specifically like open alt right you know populist nationalists they're like no he's not one of us he's just opening the door for it mm. you know so he uses language he's it's he uses dog the narratives whistles. he uses the whisk yeah so that's what makes me say okay you can't be like a New Yorker from Brooklyn. All your life, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, sound like this. Yeah. You feel me? So yeah. I'm like, I Trace feel like there's you. something in there right. that makes you say, no, I don't care about none of this. I'm about these dollars, mm-hmm. and I wanted this power. And this was the way to do it. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? I feel like it's that. So it's crazy like, to me when I, when I, when I, because I, I, I try to avoid these conversations with simpletons. <laughs> <laughs> Just because, yeah. I, you know, it just it's never going to be right. Yeah. But I actually know people at the radio station where I work uh-huh. that are avid supporters yeah. of this administration. Yeah. And still to this day, like, yeah. I know a white woman. I know a white male. Yeah. I even know a couple of Latinos yeah. that are pro this administration. And it's crazy to me because it's like. To, th- to hear them still advocate for the administration mm-hmm. and their family, like your wife, yeah, yeah, yeah. is directly affected, directly affected by, yeah, yeah. by this shit. It's like they're they're rounding up immigrants. Yeah, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that and sounds it, like Nazi Germany. It, 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 it is very similar. Yeah, when they the were idea, rounding up fucking yeah. Jews. Yeah, just, and the and the, the idea is like, slur, sorry, yeah, they're yeah. rounding up Jewish people. Yeah, and putting them in camps and shit. Yeah, and mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, we gonna hold off on that. We'll be right yeah. back after these <laughs> messages from our yeah. sponsor. Right, right, right. Like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. Yeah. Messages from Vincent. The idea of, like, so if you say to yourself, even as, like, the, the immigrant story, like, so my father-in-law, it took him 15 years to get his papers. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he was on top of it the whole time? He was on top of it the whole time. My mother-in-law, she just happened to come around during Reagan, so during amnesty. Yeah. So she just she just has Got to it. check in every five years right. and show, you know what I'm saying? Wow. So, like, so when you when you have that disparage, so that's why I could say, I could see a Latino being like, nah, fool, like, it took me 15 years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not finna just, you know what I'm saying? But then on the other hand, I'm like, we, uh, I got, like, some church homies, they every year go down to, like, Mexicali. So, yeah, right yeah, on the other side of yeah, the border, right? Yeah. And build these houses, hand the family these keys, right? Get the fuck out of here. Build houses, hand them the keys, right? That's dope. The family is like, the family lives in like a hollowed out tree, right? Like it's a tree. It's You've been to my, May Cali, it's 900 degrees down there. Wow. So you like, okay, I got two daughters. I could A, wait 15 years for my two-year-old to be 17, right? You know what I'm saying? Living in this hollowed out tree. Mm-hmm. Run, running the risk of running into some of these cartels and losing my daughter, yeah. or fifteen miles that way, is the, there's is a the way. there's there's a farm willing to hire me for fifteen dollars an right. hour. Taking if that. you're a father, running that, it's not a question. Right. It's not you're a question. That. It's not a question yeah. at all. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So what I what the part that bothers me is I'm like the reality is anyone would do what they did. Absolutely. Anyone would do that. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. Ev- everyone's answer would be that. Yeah, fifteen miles that way. Yeah. Why not? You just need me to. What, what I need to do? Just right. I need to pick these strawberries. That's yeah. it. That's don't it. Say, yeah. Don't say shit. Let's yeah. go. Yeah, let's go. 
I'm Wait, y'all not gonna do it? Fuck okay, it. word. Y'all don't want to do it. Y'all don't right. want this? Okay. Right. right. Yeah. I was better living. It's better than living in a dead tree. Are right. you kidding me right now? Yeah. So to me, I'm going. So to me, I'm going like you. Like if you're not, if you're not looking, if you're not, if you're not looking at this by the sheer numbers or the sheer humanity, you're not really appreciating the situation. Because anybody with any sense that understands numbers, that's why. I, that's why I say Trump. Trump's in a corner because anybody understand numbers would be like. Are you kidding me? This is great. Yeah. That's a that's, it. that's a workforce I right. don't have to pay right. right. And I don't have to. I, I can really society. I can as a society we can ignore them. I don't even have to think about them. We don't have to acknowledge that. I ain't got to acknowledge right. them. Yeah. I ain't got to. I'm saying this is like as as, most as, dehumanizing like, terms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. We ain't got to pay. They don't need insurance. They don't. I don't need, have to. Yeah. Yourself, yeah. They just. If you run a business, labor laws don't apply. They don't apply. Yeah. You can work twelve hours. You can hire your daughter. I don't care how old is she. Twelve? Can she mm. carry a basket? Cool. Boom. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So if you know, if you just a numbers guy, that's ridiculous. Of course, you're just like, dope. Go down to California, set them up some sort of work release program to where, okay, it's not horrible. You know what I'm saying? If it's some paperwork. Offer it to an American first. If nobody takes the job, okay, cool. This is just, it's such an easy solution. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> But see, also, you know what? A lot of this rhetoric is coming from middle America. And middle America doesn't have the most dense Latino population. Very true. So they, they're they not – I actually – and that's, that's another thing. I mean, you got the opportunity to go on tour too. Like, yeah, yeah. on tour Merce and everybody. But uh-huh. I went on tour with Tech 9 Yeah. I've been on two national tours with Tech 9 uh-huh. And I've been all – you know that. And he got some – That route that, – yeah. that tour routing is crazy. Yeah. So I'm in Butte, Montana. Yeah, he got and, some fans, boy. Fort Collins, yeah, Colorado. Yeah. And, right. Like, yeah. all these different places. Um, Wichita. Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I've been to McAllen, Texas. Yeah. Like, people don't even know where the fuck that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And – I'm, I've been places where they have never seen a black person. You were the first black person they've in seen. In person. They yes. gawk at them. Yes. Like, oh. So, uh-huh. to me, it's not foreign. As fo- Like, when you live in a major metropolis like Los Angeles or yeah. New York or whatever, it's foreign, lang- it's foreign language to not know what foreigners look like. Totally. Quote, unquote, um, indigenous to yeah, other yeah, countries. Yeah, 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 Right? So, what's interesting about what you said is, like, yeah, out here we get it. This is mm-hmm. California. This was taken from yeah. you know what I mean. This, Texas was taken yeah, yeah. from Mexico. Uh-huh. But I don't necessarily totally. I, I know. Don't get me wrong. They're fucking assholes. <laughs> like these people. No, I get what you're saying. They're assholes. It's experience. But I don't. I don't necessarily blame. It's kind of like my my like if my brother is in the, in, the, in the third grade, he hasn't learned multiplication yet. Mm-hmm. I don't blame him for not knowing two times two. Totally. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Totally. Yeah. So, so it's kind of like just because I have that rational, yeah, process. So that's, but that's the part. All I mean, I'm gonna give them that, but I think that's the part that bothers me because if you're in, yeah, like you know, I played, I played a show in Billings, Montana. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And so when you say, well, what's the problem with with like Latino immigrants? You're saying they're well, they're taking our jobs, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, well, which one of them is taking what right, job right, from you? Right. There's none of them are here, them are, right. so you're not losing any, any jobs at, at, all. at all. It's the pers- exactly. So it's what I'm saying is, notion yeah, of- that information is being piped into them. Well, no. Here's the thing. This is also what you have to understand. Be, and I only understand this because of dealing with social media for so many years yeah. and, and the jobs that I've had. Social media, like we move faster in, in major metropolises than other than other regions, mm-hmm. right? So, whereas we, like, they're, like, if you go in the, which you've been in the Midwest, yeah. they be on Facebook. Yeah. They be, they they not, be on Facebook. They not yeah. really on Twitter like yeah, that. Yeah, they yeah. not really up on the gram like uh-huh. that. They definitely not on Snap. They not on Snap. <laughs> <laughs> you know what no I'm saying? Because when I was going, when I was going out, it was uh-huh. Instagram and yeah, Twitter. Yeah. yeah. That was it. Twitter was really popping. Uh-huh. Instagram was sub yeah. under Twitter at that point. But they were still on MySpace. Wow. When we would go to these places, they'd be like, hey, what's your MySpace? This is 2000, like, like, this is 2010. Yeah. 2010. Yeah. They're like, yeah, I mean, what's your I MySpace? It, but I'm, I'm like, bro, I don't even about? know. I, I have no idea. Wow. I don't remember the password, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you can I add remember. me if you want. Yeah. I, just, so, you know, I might not I'm, get back to you. What I'm saying is they're behind in every facet. So... The reason why I'm, my point of saying that is they're also behind in industries. For sure. And so enterprise and industries have gone totally. outsourced. Yeah. China. China yeah. pretty much own us at this point, how they, much debt we but Say worse. <laughs> China, India, just like when you call mm-hmm. and you get routed to a call center yeah. out of the country. Now, that's how they're beating the labor laws and whatnot mm-hmm. because it's like, well, we'll just digitally route you to another country yeah. where there aren't laws like this yeah. so that's how major corporations do it but here's the thing the reason why i say that is because 
these people who live in middle America, these, like you say, these uh, mm-hmm. white supremacists and all mm-hmm. this kind of shit, they think that these immigrants are coming in and taking the jobs. Yeah. The coal mine, that shit is over with. It's the just, automobile the industry, moved on. The automobile uh, industry, that shit's not coming back to Detroit. It's yeah. over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just not happening. Yeah. So, like, yeah, the culture thing, moved on. Exactly. Yeah. So now there are tech startups. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There are, there are autonomous uh, um, uh, vehicle and programs yeah. and different shit. There's enterprise and apps and companies that do marketing and promote. There's a social media managers. Yeah. Yes. That wasn't even a thing seven years yeah. ago. Right. So what I'm saying is they're stuck in the mentality of their jobs went away because of these people. And see, so so to your point, it's a it's a very uh, curated narrative to say, like you said, it's it's the immigrants' fault. Exactly right. But what you articulated is no, that was no a corporation mm-hmm. made a financial choice right. and said this is a better option this for me. So if you sense. run from a government perspective, then what? You, it's real easy if I still want the money to flow and to be like, ah, oh, no, it's their fault. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. When the truth is, you could stop that. You, you could, could be like, no, 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 yeah. no. You're not allowed to outsource. Yeah. Yeah. You need to, you know what I'm saying? So if it is just about, if you really are about these people, yeah, the right, then you don't try to like, nobody's like, nobody nobody came to like Blockbuster's rescue. No. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not, when like Netflix goody. started. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Our record. Yeah, yeah nobody came to their you. rescue. Oh, like, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Do you, you see anybody like fighting for pagers? Right. Fuck. Like, no. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Industry moved on. Did nobody give a fuck. Nobody right. cared. You have to learn. You Keep feel sky me? Tail. And I'm like, like nah, so nigga. so I'm going, so I'm going, you know how easy it is to take a coal to take a coal mine, flatten it, and put some wind turbines on top of it. And take the same dudes that work there and train them on a wind turbine. Mm, right. And I'm like, this now now you have a job. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And if you and we're gonna talk about government, the money you got, then I'm like, okay, the same subsidies. Right, that you're that, you that you're spending money on this. That's a gov- I mean, that's a government subsidy. Like, sub- in, in 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 all the in all the documents say that the vast majority of welfare recipients are poor whites. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, so if you have a problem with welfare, well then there it is. You just, right. Well, there's your job training. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to train you in an industry that will use rather than saving one that we know we're not going to. It's gonna be which useless. is the which is like I, going back to your point, which is where my heart kind of goes out for out to them because I'm like, God, no he's like, working y'all. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's just playing you because that's that they're not gonna they're not gonna save coal. Well, see, the thing we're not is, gonna save coal. Also, all, yeah. also what I noticed too about about the narrative that they that they paint is. A lot of times, like that, that I ain't gonna lie. I don't remember who it was, mm-hmm. or it, I don't remember what I saw or what I read. But it was somebody attesting to the fact that that was his initiative and in the, in the that was his agenda. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go after these types totally. of totally because these types of people are going to be the ones to rally behind what I'm saying. Totally, and it worked. Low key, low key. I think Trump's a piece of shit. Okay, I know low key. Like, right. like, right. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Let me explain. Why yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think he believes a lot of shit he be saying. I don't either. Mm. I don't. I mean, so that's I mean, I this record of him key, saying yeah. opposite shit. So you said what? This record of him going the total opposite of what he did. That's what I'm saying. So it's kind of like those dudes who like who like like with the shit, but not like I, like, I, like like all the homies from Long Beach say, "Cuh." Yeah, but ain't all of them Crips. All right. y'all ain't Crips. Yeah, you right. <laughs> yeah, so you Trump, right. Trump, I'm with it. Trump it's out like, there saying "cut" for real, like yeah. Trump out here saying "cut" all day. Right. Yeah, but it's like when when it, when the really? homies roll up, it's like no, I'm not from the hood. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't condone I don't this know, behavior. Man. Yeah. I just plausible deniability. All man. sides are bad. Yeah. Gang banging is bad. There's no other no, way around. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you, dog. Yeah, I just dog. mentioned. Um, you know, obviously you're a man of faith. Yeah. Right? What do you think about labels in hip hop? Like we, you got Christian rap. Yeah. You got mumble rap. Yeah. You got all these other subgenres of rap. Do you think it helps or hurts the culture? I, th- man, I actually think I think there's two sides of that coin. I think there's 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 rap that we we uh, qualify by its sound, and then there's rap we qualify by its content. Mm-hmm. And I think the sound one helps more. Okay. Like mumble. That's a sound. Mm-hmm. So you could talk about whatever you're going to talk about. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That's a sound. Like underground stuff, that's a sound. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not a content thing. Mm-hmm. It's just when you start getting to talking about the, the content, so this is like Christian, but there's mm-hmm. but there's no like Muslim rap. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, so it's right. like that's the part where it gets unhelpful to me. Or even but, like gangster, like gangster rap. I, and, in my mind, that's a sound. Right. You feel me? Because I'm so. like – 
because no, we asking, mean West. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But right. I'm like, you tell me Mob Deep weren't gangsters? Right. You feel me? Like right. you, so I'm saying. So like, so to me, I feel like it's helpful in a sense of at least kind of understanding. But I think in a, in some ways, I, I can speak very specifically for like the 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 religious part of it. Is like I feel like we don't really know what we mean when we say that. Mm-hmm. And this this is what I mean by that because I'm like. So if you if you're if you're saying if it is content then you then abstract roots a Christian rapper then uh, chances a Christian rapper you yeah, know what I'm saying the, all these dudes are, if it's content right, you know what I'm right. saying but it but they're like but if it's just like it was because they cuss and I'm like right. well it, okay well if that's the case then again chance is not a, a chance is not or right, there's plenty right. of dudes who feel nothing toward no affinity towards the faith right. but just made a clean album mm-hmm. and it's, so you're saying clean is all it needs to be to be that you feel me is it is it what you believe personally well i know dudes who do christian music that yeah. don't believe none of it wow. right you understand what i'm saying Hell so yeah. right uh, so i know I'm like, pastors that be i know on that pastors that, that don't believe they it. be on that wow. bush they just yeah. out here working yeah. Yeah. you understand what i'm saying so Ain't so that a bitch. yeah so i really feel like for real, for real, I feel like we don't know what we mean when we say that. So I think at the end of the day, it's you. I I believe that like your your a music a music should be honest. You know what I'm saying, and a reflection of who you are as a person. You know what I'm saying, and then but if it's a matter of like where to file this on iTunes. Mm-hmm. Man, I don't care. You know what I'm music. saying? Like, oh you feel me? Music. I'm like, is it? If it's gonna help you get to the record, yeah. then you could call it whatever you want. You feel me? So I think that there's it's 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 helpful. In so to senses. you, the content is way more important than the label. If we're gonna call it something, something. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. I'm saying, but I I I think the label should be like good. Mm. You feel me? Like like to so, me, I'm like so, just make good music. So okay, so if you were let's say the the, the CEO and chairman of hip hop. Mm-hmm. Right? Would you get rid of all the labels and just, it'd be no. hip hop, or would no? You, like, I would, how would you break it? How would how would you simplify it? No, I I think hip hop to me, I feel like it's explained much better regionally than um than a mass scale. Yeah. But see, the thing is, this is why, I, and I'm glad he brought that up because even even like in the radio or yeah. even like I notice now in award shows, uh-huh. um, they've combined. It's hip hop and R and B, yeah, right, right. and that's kind of like I feel like that's not fair. That's not really fair because yeah. you put you might put Beyonce against yeah. Migos, yeah, like yeah. give me Poor a fucking Le- break, Boy, yeah, Jay-Z. like well, our, our homeboy Lecrae, like he give won me a fucking break, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lecrae won, Lecrae won a, like, a gospel Migos, BET I'm award, I'm yeah, go yeah, you're not gonna do that. Are you fucking wow. Yeah, there's no way I'm winning. Put Beyonce and Adele together, <laughs> they together, let them do their shit. Yes, that's I don't want to go against that fucking. What? I'm never gonna win. Yeah. So yeah, our homie Lecrae, Lecrae like he gospel, won a yeah. gospel BET award, right. and like Hezekiah Shout Walker in there. That's my dog. Yeah. Like that is that's my dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he won that, and then <laughs> Hezekiah Walker and, and then was like, Hot. "You need to get that back. Hot. You ain't no gospel <laughs> artist." He was Hot. like, uh, hey, "Yeah, man, you're like, right. I'm it. not. I mean, Damn. but I didn't tell them to." That's I didn't tell them to put it in that category. Just, that's what I'm saying. That's what I mean by like it's it's by its content, and it's like, well, that's not. Right, he's a rapper. Yeah. You know you what I'm saying? What? Yeah. So let me ask you this then: as a rapper, you're an artist yeah. yourself. Would you rather, like, say, me and Chuck? Me and Chuck are the, the are the committee, right? Yes. And we decide who gets awards and all that kind of mm-hmm. shit, right? We're we're active members of the voting, whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, would you rather give artists the power to turn in a body of work, like you brought vinyl, <clears throat> yes, and say this is Christian rap, uh-huh. and then we gauge it as such? Or do we decide as cri- as cultures of the wow, cri- or as cri- critics of yeah. the culture decide actually, what it is? Because, I actually think because the here's the thing: decides. the culture. Okay, I think the culture. But here's decide. the thing, though: if you give the power to the artist, Eminem could have turned this shit in and said, "This is Christian rap." I know. Or fifty year old, sixty seventy year old white men that's not into that don't that don't know shit about Chance the Rapper. Or that's why it took took him so long yeah, to yeah, get his yeah. accolades, yeah. get, get his accolades, yeah. and and Lecrae took him yeah. long to get his accolades. Yeah, and people, all these all these different people that are great. Yeah, it takes them so long because people that are not necessarily of the culture or mm-hmm. involved or whatever are deciding and classifying what your yeah. what your body of work is. So yeah. it's kind of like you fucked if you do, damned if you don't. You're right, but I think the culture has already decided. And I think that's that's the reality. You know what I'm saying? Though? No, I get it. But, but I think that's the reality we're in. The culture's already decided. You know what I'm saying? Because again, if you put 
if you content wise, again, you put Lecrae's album next to Chance's. Mm. I mean, they're it, the reality is Chance's album is much more Christian. Mm. Like you're like he's it's covering a worship that, song. Yeah, exactly. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's sure. like they sing that on Sunday mornings. Like that's sure. not on Lecrae's record. You right. feel me? So the reality is the culture's already decided. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I think at the end of the day is it's kind of what you're saying to where it's like it kind of is what it is. You 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 throw your you throw your juice in the well, you know what I'm saying? You sell your you sell your record, you sell your concert ticket and you just like you serve the people that come. But you I'm just me? saying though like where what What's the solution? Is what I'm trying. Yeah, to do. I don't know. He's like, okay, I, I, don't, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah. With I don't know. You know what I'm the only reason why I brought, I brought that up, no, I don't have a solution at all because I I feel like you I, let the I, rapper decide or you let the. That's the thing. I don't. It, I I like the I like the concept of the culture deciding, but then who who are you Who's, putting in place to be in the culture? Like, how do you swap these motherfuckers out? Man, after yeah, exactly. Of time? At what like, point who, do you age out or or? That's the thing. Yeah, you know what I'm or saying. Age, like even me, age even out. I, I, I'm using myself as a, yeah. as as the sacrificial lamb, right? Yeah. I'm not as in touch with what I was in touch with totally ten years ago. Absolutely, right. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Total, I to, it's, I'm totally it's new that. Dudes that like um, it's new dudes that's popping up that's rapping and whatnot. Now me and him used to be. At ground Everybody, level because yeah, we we're accessible at that right, point. Right, right. But now, like as as you level up and as you do different things totally. and you accomplish different different feats in life, you naturally progress. Mm-hmm. So then you're not on the you're not on the ground level. Yeah, you yeah. you start off as infantry. Yeah, you start off as a private, and you are going up to a general and all that kind of shit, and you get up. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, yeah. So what I'm saying is, at what point do you? Swap the generals out. Totally. Yeah, I never want to be no the guy. Solution, in the, like, yeah, I never want to be the guy at the barbershop like, Cool Mo D is the greatest rapper alive. <laughs> exactly. Like, I never want to be him. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, I always want to be like, Nah, yeah, that's the young boys. I'm not going to try to do that. Right, okay. But right. that's the young boys. Right, like, right, that's right. what they do. Coming I know what to, I can do. Yeah. yeah. Coming back, this is what we're talking about. Uh, Lonzo Ball. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. with the Nas thing. With the oh Nas thing. God. He said... Migos in the future is real hip-hop. Nas. You know what? I got to hear the actual quote. What did he actually say? I'm going to pull it up for what, I did on Facebook. Final, okay, what did he actually that was say? Because heartbreaking, but I I feel like I feel like there's there's a bigger conversation there, which is like the idea of like the continuum. Like if you if you feel like I feel like we did a bad job. When I say we, I mean like us that like grew up. I feel like who grew up in like '90s hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Like that we would call like golden age stuff. Mm-hmm. I feel like we did a bad job of like making them feel like they're part of the story. Of the movement, right, you understand? Right. Part of the movement. Because I feel like that's what happened with me. Mm. Like, the older dudes in front like, I felt like I was a part of something bigger. You were and I was being brought into gotcha. a, lo- a broader story. I feel like we did not do that. Mm. You understand right. what I'm saying? So, so you get dudes like Lonzo mm. that's being like, well, nah, you, all y'all did was make fun of us. You yeah. just told us we weren't, we weren't doing it right. Mm. So, yeah, all right, we're going to do our own. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, especially, again, from L.A. rap, right. like, that's what we did. We yeah. were like, okay, well, we're not New York. We're not gangster rappers. We just going to we gonna right, we gonna do all this. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Here's the quote. Here's the quote. It says, y'all outdated, man. Don't nobody listen to Nas no more. Real hip-hop is Migos and Future. End quote. Yeah, well, that's uh-huh. a dumb quote. But, <laughs> but, but yeah. what I'm saying is he he's got a point. He, 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 he's, what, 18? 18, the, 19, the, the, yeah. the problem with that quote and what he says, real hip hop. If he says That's current hip hop, current hip hop, okay. If you can say current hip hop is Migos, you're right. Current hip hop is Migos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I give him that. But I think that you, you brought up a good point is they don't feel like they're being ushered in. Anything that was outside, and that's why I brought up the subgenres, yeah. because anything that's outside of the boom bap, the 90s, the yeah, gold we should, era. We did a bad job. They we feel did a bad disconnected. Job. Yeah. Even Uzi. Uzi got what, the, almost the number, one, the number one album in the he country, did. right? Yeah. He, did. he got the number one album in the country, and he doesn't classify, we were talking about his stuff yeah. as a rapper. Yeah. Right. He's, He's not like, I'm a rap, rock star. I'm a rock star. So it's like there that there is a disconnect with yeah. hip hop that I wish we would I wish we could go back and just kind of be like so what's, okay. nah, those are our homies you know so, what I'm saying that's little homie that's what he do but I also think like because a lot of it is um it is a disconnect and they didn't usher in mm-hmm. but I think that we're what you're what you're trying to articulate is how the the generation prior to this generation in hip hop didn't usher in a new generation it's also because a lot of it was destructive. 
Mm-hmm. A lot yeah. of it because every this is what I was trying to explain to one of the one of the OG homies. He mm-hmm. was like, "These little niggas is weird." Yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> that's, that's what he said. That's true. That's but his like, quote. Like, yeah, right? that was his quote. Yeah. you know what I mean. One of the OG crib homies. Yeah, OG, yeah, yeah. These crib little homies. niggas is weird, cuz. Yeah. Okay. Got to put the cuz on there. Yeah. So, but here's the thing, though. I'm like, y'all. What did y'all used to rap about? We used to sell sell dope, sell trap. Yeah. Okay. So y'all was the D boys. The new kids are the fiends, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Exactly. So when I was telling them, I said, who the fuck did you think you were selling this shit to when you was a uh, dude? Mm. Ah, ouch. Dang. Ouch. Case closed. On that note. Dun, dun, dun. Does that Dang. make sense? It makes perfect sense. Yeah. So it's like when you sell, you out here selling, you you big. Selling t- to somebody, you yeah. You selling to somebody. You selling to the motherfuckers that you see now. Yeah. That's what. They grown up and that's, and that's who that's, they are. That's exactly. what they made them. Exactly. Yeah. Dang. That's the same thing he said. <laughs> Just because you're right. Right. Now, I, I do want to flip topics again, man. We, we okay. were talking about this earlier as far as marriage and all that. How do you feel like marriage and fatherhood has changed you as an oh artist? Oh, my gosh, dude. Like. How many kids you got? Two daughters. Two, oh, Ooh. shit. You was a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> you got two daughters. Two daughters. Hey, I was talking to Charlamagne about that shit. He was like, he was like yeah, I'm being paid back for that bullshit. <laughs> wow. Two. Yeah, yeah you, buddy. Yeah, you, go ahead, talk about you, it. You can talk agree with me. But, but how, how, how does it? How, do, how has it affected your, your I def- career? I definitely feel like I've I've become a better man because of it. Nice. I, I definitely feel like there's there's I, the humility aspect of it is like I always feel like I feel like I'm. Like everyone in my house speaks a language that I don't. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Women. So I'm just like I don't. <laughs> so I'm, I feel like I'm always somehow or another trying to translate. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or like I'm listening to what you're saying. And I'm going wait. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. I gotta something. think about that for a second, right. and then I can't just respond right. because sometimes, like you, like notice how like loud we have just gotten yeah. by just and no, we're not mad. No, we're actually all. enjoying right. ourselves. Right. right. So sometimes I'm just excited, and yeah. I'm like, yo, and then my daughter's like. Why are you scream and and then my wife's mad like babe why are you always yelling and I'm like and I'm just like oh my gosh Bruh. like sometimes or like or I respond and then there's so then you add so then you add like the first generation Latina with the Ooh. the black so there's all these like other things to where I'm like and my fam like you know you know how you know oh, black I people know. are with our children oh, we're mean right, like we're right. mean to our kids so that's just what it that's is. just how we talk to Look our at children your little fucked up little you lady. understand what I'm saying yeah. bro sprout your leg girl. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we just... Yes. You know That's how we talk Yo, to our children. My family called me Captain Hook for the longest, dog. I got a hook in my head. <laughs> dog. For the my longest mom, time. Yes. My mom used to say I was fish-eyed. She was like, you know, fish-eyed. I'm telling you. I got right? you Who the fuck wants to be called head? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. My sister used to call me head. You know what I'm get saying? Yeah. Here. Like, that's uh, just how we get in. Head. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. So, like... so. So the just head. those things where you're just like this is just this is just normal yeah, it's way I like having like daughters had to make me go okay this is, I okay yeah. it's not I guess it's not normal I just I have to learn I just have to I'm learn how to, here's here's the best example of this is so my my wife though she's so she was born in Huntington Park East LA Ooh, Huntington Park. you got a real she Latina raw. she raw right then she lived in Acapulco she from HP yes damn yes damn. then she lived in Acapulco till like damn. till like junior high and then oh, she wow. came back right wow. her family so, don't fuck with you huh no they love me really because I, I bring home the bacon I take <laughs> oh, care of the God. kids they like he's a hard worker Let that's all know. that matters all right, right? All right yeah all right. so like. Yep, that's right, that's yeah. right. But he's, hey, he's a hard worker, right? Yeah. That's that's a hard worker. Yeah. Right, yeah. Drop out. Yeah, yeah, I like him. He's a hard worker. Yeah, so like that was the, my father in law's exact friend. I like wow. he's a hard worker. Yeah. He works hard. Anyway, um, so um, my daughter, my eldest daughter, second grade, she comes home, she gets pushed off the monkey bars, and you know, you see a kid, you can tell they were crying, but they're good now, yeah. right? So just you know, my antennas was like, are you, how was your was day? Right. Are you okay? And she was just like. I got pushed off the monkey. Right? She started, she's yeah. trying to hold back her tears. And so I'm trying to figure out like, okay, are you okay? Like what? And she was like, I, she wasn't hurt. She wasn't mad. She was just confused as to why this little girl thought it was okay that off. she could push her off. Right. And I had the wherewithal, which was like embarrassing because, because she's my daughter. I had the wherewithal to be like, well, you know, maybe she had, a, I remember I read this article on PBS about like, 
elementary girl economy, how like how best friends work, <laughs> like how it's like they're, that's currency, like it's a dollar. Like, like me good. and you can't own the same dollar. Right, right. I can't sell, spend this dollar and you spend it yeah. at the same time. So if you're her best friend, she you can't, can't be, be mine. My that's friend. not how it works. Wow. You understand what I'm saying? So like it's currency. So like I was reading up on this. You know what I'm saying? I got two daughters. So I'm like, I gotta know this right? Shit. Exactly. So I'm like, so I'm trying to. Well, maybe we're you know well, who's her friend? Maybe you were talking. Maybe you hurt her feelings. I don't know. Maybe it happened three months ago. You never know. Maybe you should humble yourself. Yeah. Like next time, kind of tell her like, yo, I don't appreciate that. If I hurt your feelings, I had the wherewithal to tell her that. I just know like that's why God didn't give me no boy, because. If my son would have came home on some, he got pushed off the mug. I, nigga, push you off the what? what? Yeah. Did you throw hands? Right. Yeah. Son. Right. Throw hands. Yeah. I know, get throw in the car. Hands. Like, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to figure out right. another. Look, I could call, I could call, find out where he live right now. That's right. easy. Let's yeah. throw hands. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, that's. That's the wrong answer. That's the bro. wrong answer. You're the the wrong doing it. Yes, that's right. the wrong answer. You realize you're the adult. Yeah, I'm the adult. <laughs> I'm like, that's the wrong <laughs> answer. Right now. So, like, so, but just like learning that, like, nah, I need to. Now it's some because I'm mad and I'm like, yo, this little girl pushed you off the monkey bars, really? Because for real, because she can, mm-hmm. and you just taught this whole mm-hmm. playground. Yeah. Because you ain't do nothing. Mm-hmm. That now, if anybody want to get you off the monkey bars, I gotta just push you. Push you you off, feel me? Yeah. So I'm like, so again, like, so my wife's Huntington Park antennas mm-hmm. are starting to are starting to like Did she start chime in. And sh- and shit? She, she was on some like yeah. she needs. My wife was like, "Awesome! Like she needs to throw hands." Yeah. Like she, just, and I was like, "Okay, <laughs> we're we're grown ups now. Right, like right. we can't, honey, we can't, we throw can't hands. tell this our children. Seven years ago. We can't tell our children to throw hands. Honey, honey we can't. Throw we hands. go to jail, right, man. You right. know what I'm saying? So like, but we were both kind of looking at each other, like, "Yo, I, so you gonna tell her to throw hands or me? Nah? Shit, what okay. do we? One of y'all got to be the bad parent. Yeah, we, I was, I've already made it clear. Like, okay, if you, if there is there is a reality that you have to teach other girls that they can't do this to you. That's the way I had to say it. And I'm like, and if you happen to teach her with your hands, with your hands, <laughs> I will not be mad at you. Right. You will not be in trouble at home. I can't say nothing about what the school's right, gonna do. Right. Or the law. Yeah, or the law. <laughs> can't say nothing about that. But if you get suspended, I we're probably going to Disneyland. Right. You're because I'm so proud of you right. for throwing hands. <laughs> Daddy's gonna love you. So Daddy's much. so yeah. proud of you, but I'm not encouraging Turns you to, to do this. this. I'm just saying if you and, and if, if you so happy, if you so happy, but to there's strike this little <laughs> yes, 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 girl. Oh, my daughter will never. Neither my the sweet. baby would do it probably, but the, my my eldest, there's no way in the world. Yeah. But, but has she has it affected the the career in a in a in absolutely a, in, a, in a positive way in, in terms of like. The grind, even I'm writing harder. better. I'm more, I'm more focused on the grind. Like I think better about touring, mm-hmm. so I'm like, I'll say no to stuff. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes it's like a lot of times you get into music, you like, you feel like if I miss this opportunity, nothing's yeah, never gonna come right, again. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm cool with being like, can't do that. I, I can't do it. Sense, you know what right. I'm saying? I, I've, I've learned how to, I like, I take a week off every month. Mm-hmm. I take a month off every year. Dope. Right. I keep touring. If I'm gonna tour, it has to be Thursday to Sundays mm-hmm. because like. My daughters need to need a consistency. Right. You feel yeah. me? Like, and I think just having, but but that's like so now. If someone asks me to come because they know I'll say no, they'll now up the asking price. Mm-hmm. So it's crazy. So once I started being disciplined, being like I'm only available for three weeks out the month, and it's only Thursday to Saturdays, wow. they were like, well, "What's the dollar amount that'll get, get you out you the house?" On Wednesday, and I'm like, <laughs> "Well, well." Actually, we can talk about that. You feel me? So like, I can so, take my da- daughter to Disneyland with this we, money. You, you know what I mean? You feel me? So like, so but those things that made me be mm. like, okay, so now if I'm that saying I'm getting more per gig, mm. then that means that's less gigs I have to take. Right, right. You feel me? Which has helped the touring. Right. So now it's like it's not so easy to catch a propaganda show because you never really know when it's going to happen. When I'm going to come again? That's interesting. So it's this weird like. This weird thing that somehow or another that discipline has helped. Yeah, I, br- I brought that up because I recently saw a Facebook post today of somebody that um, that said that it was just like, "Yo, you know, this is gonna be my last show because I got I, I got to look my daughter in the eye." Yeah, you know what I mean. I can't be chasing these shows and doing this left yeah. and right. Obviously, he was in a different situation that totally. they, financially it wasn't working out yeah, for yeah, him. Yeah. But I, I always just it, it just figuring out like how that the mentality of people with that works. Like, does it make you grind harder? Does it it made me grind smarter. That's dope. That's it dope. made just made me smarter. 
you know, and that's like, because it's like, I either, it's either that or quit, Mm -hmm. you know, find something else, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I felt like, like it just, it was at a place where it was like, every time I thought about like, you know what, man, let me just do Mm -hmm. something else. Something drops in, drops in my lap and I'm like, dang, maybe this, maybe this ain't it. You know what I mean? And, uh, but it just made me smarter. You know, I'd like, I actually now I took the L financially. I said I would never do this, but I took the L and like hired an assistant, um, to like, make sure my calendar's right because there was there'll be times that i'm like man my wife will be like what time do you fly out and i'm like man i don't know i have it's, no idea i have no idea yeah. tomorrow I'm, you know what i'm saying i'm flying I think out i have sometime yeah. tomorrow right so like i was like look she's like it's worth she's worth every dollar just in the sense that she makes her or my wife's calendars updated mm. so that like so she, so I didn't have to tell her, y'all got to drive to Inglewood right, tonight. Right, 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 like right. she no. saw it was on her calendar also. Uh, no, you no, feel me? Because yeah. I would have forgot. Got right, right. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? No. And been like, yo, babe, I got to go. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's and she was do. like, uh, word, I'm yeah. actually having drinks with like, you. You know what I'm saying? I thought you, you didn't tell kids. me. Right, right. So if I'm not, my two daughters would have been, been right here right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's but dumb. yeah, like now, now the album's out right now. Again, people yeah. support that crooked. What do you feel like? I want to bring this back. We do something called. The business card track, right? So for the folks that actually grab the album, Ooh. support it, right? What do you feel like is the best representation of propaganda right now that's off the album? If you're walking up to somebody on the street and you got to hand them a business card, a track off the album, which one is the best representation uh, of you right now? He's like, phone a friend? Effecto, phone a friend? Cynical, do no wrong. You got one. Yeah, he said a track. One track. I'm, 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 I'm trying to I'm figure it out. Down. You would the phone a friend? Who you want to call? Uh, I, I, was, I say do no wrong. Right. Oh, I would say do no wrong. And that's the one you pay homage to Cali, man. I love yes. that song. I love that Thank you. song, too. Thank you. That's that's a great record, by the way. Thank you, man. really love that song. And you know Thank what? You, you got to do the video for that. That's the plan. Please do the video. That's the plan. And what I've noticed in your videos, too, you don't, well, at least the latest ones. Yeah, I'm not in them. You're not in them. Yeah. By design. Yes. Why is that? aesthetics Mm -hmm. just trying something different um i think uh i like when we shoot videos my thing is like i want to shoot with a director that doesn't need direction Mm -hmm. then i'm just like you direct i just trust you right yeah i'm saying make this like make a film you feel me so i i just felt like for this record like i wanted to be i just wanted to try something else Mm -hmm. like what if i was just background noise for the visuals right i mean And, and each of them were like that. For me, it just as as uh, somebody that's consuming music, like it forces me to pay attention to the message of the music too. Uh, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. that's what I really appreciated yeah. about it. And in the Lippian video, did you where, where did you actually go? Yo, so that is this. Uh, it's a organization called Preemptive Love. Mm-hmm. So we actually just they just sent us a hard drive. That's Fallujah. Get the fuck that's out. Fallujah and, and Mazul. Wow. And it's like those are like real, real refugees. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that's really happening yeah. in ISIS control regions. Wow. Right. They are really doing like first like first responding aid and they were doing like so all the babies that are uh that are getting like operated on. Mm-hmm. So that's from like the backstory with them is like those kids are from like generations of like chemical warfare, mm. like from the nineties that we did, Get that the America fuck did. Out of so here. kids are born with like congenital heart problems. Wow. Damn. Right. So this organization dude's from Texas. So he moved his family out there, right? And started this organization where he was doing these like uh these medical procedures for these kids, you know what I'm saying, who all had were all born with bad hearts. Mm. Right. Damn. And while he was doing that, freaking ISIS came into power. Get the so fuck then so then they they so they so they did that and then they started switching a lot of their uh their focus to like first response. Damn, that's stuff. crazy. It's crazy. Now, yeah. the, the, the so that's my intense, homeboy. Man. So I was like, "Yo, can you just send me footage?" Yeah. And yeah, so he just sent sent the footage. That was intense, man. I, and yeah. I, I think it just it brought visual. Like I said, it brought more visual to the message. Yeah. Um, and it's just uh, dope. It just I don't know. Just it's dope, man. It's I like dope, I man. like the fact that you did that because you pay attention more to to that's what's going wild. on. Man. Hey, you know, hold on. Before we close out. I don't really be fucking with a lot of people. I fuck with you. Nigga, that's what I needed to Yeah, hear. for no, on some real I shit. I appreciate yeah. that. On some real Thank shit. You, I, fuck, I fuck with you. Hey, you hear that? You um, hear that, West West? Cool. West. And, and, and the thing is, man, what we like to do, man, just celebrate what you love. There's a lot of people and a lot of talk going on in terms of we've talked about hip hop today, yeah, yeah, just yeah. The, the different sub genres, and you even admitted, like, as a golden age baby, like, all right, maybe we didn't put the arms around you, but yeah. even now, like, I encourage people, like, there's nothing wrong with the mumble rap, there's nothing wrong, like, Celebrate what the fuck you love. If you don't like that shit, cool, cool, yeah. 
there's other options yes. out there. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta be salty. And I yeah. and I hate when people say, man, it, even because you know we work on the radio, and people, oh man, there's no good hip hop out there, man. All it is is this. Well, motherfuckers support the motherfuckers that's out there. How about that? That's doing that. And brings me to my point. Support this album. Appreciate Cookie, it, man. Available Cookie. right now. Yeah. Propaganda. Appreciate you coming on through. Thank hey you, man, man, I fuck with you. Uh, Thank you. Tour. So I mean, I can plug yeah. my tour in. You plug, plug your tour. Okay, plug your shit, man. Look LA. here. So we got we got three, no, two LA dates. Oh, word, word. Okay. Yeah, we got one in Orange County at Chain Reaction oh, on the 19th. That's right. On the 18th. Okay. And then we got the Troubadour on the 19th. 19th right. Yeah. And, and if people want to grab tickets, support it. And if they're obviously we're worldwide, worldwide with it, I know it's just specifically yeah. on the kind of like the West Coast. But yeah, yeah, yeah. If people want to grab tickets and support, where, where can they Yeah, go? humblebeast.com. You could go humblebeast.com backslash tension tour okay. or just if you just go to the site. It's on and it's the it's the link on all of my social media. So, so I'm home. like, please buy these tickets. Uh, so hip-hop. yeah, so they there. Prop hip hop. Um, and like you guys, if you guys want to give away some tickets, like, let me know. Give them away. Fuck it. Let's do it. Um, Get your we'll, tickets away. We'll do it on the website. Let's there it, it is. Appreciate you coming on through, Appreciate man. Appreciate y'all having me, man. Let's keep this conversation going. And uh, yeah, anything you yeah. need from us in the future, you got us, man. So, shout out to the homie Propaganda. It's hey. on Radio. Chuck Dizzle. DJ Head. We out. Let's go.